Hey guys, Rebecca here from homeschoolon.com and today is coffee or tea chat time all about nature studies. We're going to be talking about what nature studies are, how to use a nature notebook, whether or not you need nature study curriculum or you can just freestyle it. I'm going to show you an amazing resource that you can use. So grab yourself something hot and let's do this. All right, so the first thing that I want to talk to you about is what is a nature study? Where does this come from? Why is it trending right now? And what do you need to know about it? In short, nature studies or nature journaling or nature notebooking are all the same thing. And all they are is getting out in nature and exploring and documenting your findings in some sort of notebook. Some kids draw pictures, some kids write about it, some kids bring in watercolor. You can get very advanced with it. You don't have to be advanced with it. There's whole curriculums based around this, or you can just freestyle it. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of options, but essentially it's a way of getting your kids out in nature and exploring the world around them, making it relevant rather than just being something they're learning about in a textbook that has no sense of relevance to them. What's great about it is that it brings in your local nature. I don't know how many times I've learned about things that I might never see in my lifetime, as opposed to learning about plants and animals and birds and identifying bird calls that are local to my area. That is much more helpful and it means a lot more to somebody. So that's one of the benefits of doing a nature study. Another huge benefit of doing a nature study in your homeschool is just the idea of getting outside in nature. As soon as you're outside, you guys, you're opening up your mind in a whole new way, and that's scientifically proven. Go, go research the scientific benefits of getting outside. I think we all know. I mean, we've seen the articles, we've seen the research, we know that we want to get our kids outside. The more, the better. The fresh air, nature actually calms, it de-stresses, it inspires creativity, all of those things. So it's important and it's good, and it kind of forces us. I think as homeschool moms, sometimes we can get stuck inside where it's safe and warm and, and we have our teas and our coffee mm -hmm. and it forces us to get outside. And you know what? You might be surprised how much you enjoy it as well. Another huge benefit of nature journaling is that it's very creative and artistic. So you're blending the left brain with the right brain. You're taking logic and facts and details and even printing and you're blending it together with art and creativity and drawing and sketching. So as soon as you're utilizing your whole brain, there's so much more brain power engaged in that activity that kids really tend to remember it. It's very enjoyable. Another huge benefit is that you can do it with all of your kids at once. It doesn't matter if you have a three-year-old, they can be participating in nature journaling. They're getting science, they're getting art, and they're probably getting handwriting in that as well, but all in a very relaxed format. So nature journaling is awesome. Okay, I think we can just identify that right now. Nature journaling rocks, nature notebooking, nature studies, all those things are amazing. They're very Charlotte Mason in their approach, and that is a homeschool style it, based off of an actual person that basically had a lot of ideologies and values around education. And if you go research Charlotte Mason education, you'll see a lot of getting out in nature. So it's, it's inspired by Charlotte Mason. A lot of Charlotte Mason curriculums introduce it as much as they can, but it is in and of itself valuable to add to anybody's homeschool style and anybody's homeschool routine. So now that you understand a little bit of what nature journaling is, let's talk about do you actually need to have a curriculum? There's a lot of curriculums out there. There's a lot of science curriculums that, that integrate it. There's a lot of notebooking resources. There's a lot of independent full year nature study curriculums out there, guides, books, resources. It can be overwhelming to know where to start. You do not need a curriculum, really for anything in homeschooling. Ha. Many of us would disagree, but you don't. You can actually just do it freestyle. You can grab a notebook, go outside for a walk, collect things that are interesting to you, or do it themed or do it seasonally, and then sit down and draw or paint or pull out some tea and your watercolors and see what happens. That is a very relaxed way of doing it. Turn on some classical music seriously and participate along with your kids. It is incredibly therapeutic, but a curriculum can be helpful for some people that this is not natural to them. 
It's pushing them outside of their comfort zone in that it gives you some guidance. It can give you some guidance of what to go look for, how to do a little bit of a lesson around it if you want to. You do not have to do a lesson around it. Your kids could choose things that they're interested in, label it, and learn about it based on their interests, or you can find a lot of amazing resources. I personally like to freestyle it as much as possible. I give each of my kids a notebook. The younger ones, simple notebooks, you guys. Don't go all expensive because you know that they're probably not going to last very long, right? I'm talking about your preschoolers, kindergarten. In my older kids, I invest in a high quality art notebook. And I'll put a link to what I use in the description. But the reason for that is because it lasts a lot longer and it's something that they are adding to, they can look back on. It's essentially their portfolio. And they use this not just for their nature studies, but any art that they do. So it's, it's a one common place area that they're putting everything. So I personally prefer to have lots of art supplies on hand, to go out and choose Choose based on our interests. However, I love to have a lot of resources. So I have a ton of nature journaling books for adults that my kids can flip through and get ideas. They're just beautiful. They're beautiful and they've got little tutorials. They're way too advanced, but they are inspirational and they spark creativity. And so even for myself, I'll often refer to those to get ideas of how to sketch a leaf or how I could watercolor this. So I like to have a lot of those around. There's a nature notebook reference that I use a lot. It's it's very old school, okay? It's this massive, I'm gonna to link to it below, massive, massive book that you can find on Amazon, but it is just a wealth of information. And it actually just gives you very simplistic, very, very simplistic um, lessons that you can do around aspects in nature. A recent find that I came across is Julia Rothman's series. So there's three books in the series. It comes as a box set, or you can get the book separately. And the three books in the series are Nature Anatomy, Farm Anatomy, and Food Anatomy. And they're essentially, they're graphics, but they are essentially just so cute. They look like they have been hand-drawn and they are beautiful. It's just read you some of the information here. Art and science mingle in Julia Rothman's fascinating visual tour of the natural world. So it's basically a science book, but with these really neat illustrations that the kids can emulate. So I have to show you some of the pages in this. Um, so just flipping through here, it, it covers like predicting the weather, um, different information about types of butterflies. Your kids could use those pictures to, to sketch from, right? Anatomy of a bat. And so there's lots of these anatomy pages in here where the kids could sketch from that and then they could label the different parts. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Anatomy of a bird and different types of birds, kinds of feathers, just to give you an idea of some of the beautiful illustrations. Um, anatomy of a trunk. And it just goes into so much beautiful detail with lots of pictures. So I found these are stunning. Um, there's also food anatomy. I love this prime cuts where these are the different cuts of beef and where they come from or cuts of pork. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Making pasta, some pasta shapes. Okay, so it just goes into growing rice, the different parts of the rice plant, just to give you an idea of, of the way that that one's laid out. Again, another beautiful, um, book for your kids to have. And then there's farm anatomy. And farm anatomy just basically it takes you out into the country, okay? So parts of a bee and bee terms, um, egg breeds and meat, breed, meat breeds of chickens, how to build a bean teepee and information on beans and how a bean plant grows, and the tractor and its implements, okay, so it takes you through time. It's just, it's a wealth of information. There is so much included. And when you get the box set, you also get these prints sent to you that are stunning and you could put up on your wall in little frames that you could use as well. So this is really high value. I recommend getting the set. But what I'm going to be using this for, the link is in the description below, is I'm going to be using it just as, again, inspiration. My kids love looking through it. They love looking at the pictures and they can use it to inspire themselves. They can either copy something in it and use that in their nature journal, or they can use it just as reading material. It gives them information and visual um, creativity and inspiration that they can use to 
do their own nature journaling. So whether you choose to freestyle it like this, whether you choose to do lessons, whether you choose to use a complete curriculum, it's all up to you. But nature journaling and nature studies are an amazing addition to your homeschool. And I highly recommend just give it a shot. If you're not sure if it's gonna fit for you, just give it a shot and see what you think. It's the best way to tell. All right, go homeschool your kids, deal with the crises, and have an amazing day and keep calm and homeschool on.